Welcome to the Mountain Home Music Radio Show. What you're about to hear is the second half of a special concert dedicated to Appalachian workers. During the first part, we focused on songs of the coal miner. In this part, we'll sing songs and tell stories that help us to know about life in the cotton and the textile mills. You'll also hear some familiar hymns that help to nourish the worker's soul. In the early part of this century, up to around 1920, the timber industry in this region declined due to over-harvesting. The family farm was also on the decline, and during this time, the textile industry was looking for workers. From around 1900 to 1930, thousands of mountaineers left their farms for the mill districts in communities such as Marshall, Hendersonville, and Swannanoa, or to larger mill communities in cities such as Greenville, Spartanburg, Kingsport, and Bristol. After the turn of the century, the availability of cheap labor began to diminish in the Piedmont, and many mill owners actively recruited workers in the mountains. For over three-quarters of a million mountaineers, the migration from mountain cabin to mill town was a major break with their land, with their families, and with the culture. Housing was poor and unsanitary, and the wages ranged from 35 to 60 cents per hour. A typical day was 11 and a half hours. Men, women, and children worked from 65 to 72 hours per week. According to the Department of Labor Statistics, at a typical mill, 60% of the employees were female, and fully one-half of those were children between the ages of 12 and 16. Next, Scott Freeman tells us about life in an old mill community that still stands near his home in southwest Virginia. He follows his story with the well-known Saikon tune called Goodbye, Monday Blues. Uh, this is a song that uh, has to do with some of my kin that the uh, only job that, uh, in the area that they lived in was a cotton mill. And, uh, of course, a lot of them contracted what they called brown lung, breathing, breathing all the cotton dust. And you go back to that part of uh, southwestern Virginia to this day and see a lot of the, the owner's homes still up on the hill and all the little small houses. And you know exactly who run the mills and who owned them. This one is a Sycon tune. It's called Goodbye Monday Blues. To be a mill town baby Goodbye Monday blues Goodbye card room fever Cotton dust has got my lungs You know I'm bound to leave you Not a man in all this town Could beat me once for dolphin now it's more than I can do To sit here without coughing Goodbye Monday blues Goodbye card room fever Cotton dust has got my lungs You know I'm bound to leave you Setting at his glass in some backstreet bar room. These were once the fastest hands at spinning spool or card room. Goodbye, Monday blues. Goodbye, card room fever. Cotton dust has got my lungs. You know I'm bound to leave you. Goodbye. Monday blues, goodbye card room fever, cotton dust has got my lungs, you know I'm bound to leave you, 
You know I'm bound to leave you. Hank Weddington's going to do a song for us now, and it's a relatively modern song about an age old situation. The song is entitled The Mill Worker by James Taylor. And Hank might want to say a word or two about sure. this song before you do it. Sure. Well, they asked me to pick a song about my family to do and, and their occupations. And one of my church members out here came up to me during the intermission. He said that I probably should have done Send in the Clowns for our song. <laughs> <coughs> I won't give you away. They can get you later. Um, but I decided on the mill worker because one of my grandfathers worked in the textile mills down near Salisbury in a little town called Yadkin. And uh, he told me a story one time about his retirement. And he was a foreman over a bunch of people in one of the parts of the plant. And he ruled with an iron thumb. He always told me an iron fist and he didn't take no junk from them workers. And so on his retirement day, they gave him this beautiful package. It was in a nice wrapped up bag with a bow on it. And he was, I'm sure, surprised to get anything from him at all. And, and he took it out and he opened it up and inside was a nice pile of horse manure. <coughs> and he said, son, he said, if your workers hate you, then you know they respect you. And that was words to live by. And so over the years, I've done my share of mill work myself. And this song kind of hit me. Anybody's done mill work, this, this will be right up your, your alley. It talks about the monotony of the job sometimes and how you just wait for a daydream each day to get you through the entire day and how you can live out a whole fantasy life while you're doing something completely different. This was written for a Broadway musical and it ran for two weeks and shut down, but the song's still pretty good. So here we go, Mill Worker. Grandfather was a sailor, he blew in off the ocean. My father was a farmer, and I, his only daughter, I took up with a no good mill working man from Massachusetts, who dies from too much whiskey and leaves me these three faces to feed. Get me through the morning and put me in my coffee break where I can have a sandwich and remember. Then it's me and my machine for the rest of the morning and the rest of the afternoon and the rest of my life. mind begins to wander to the days back on the farm I can see my granddad staring at me swinging on his arm I hear my granddad's stories of the songs out on Lake Erie of vessels and cargoes and fortunes and sailors lives Well, it's my life has been wasted And I have been a fool To let this manufacture Use my body for a tool 
I ride home every evening Staring at my hands And swearing to my sorrows That a young girl should stand a better chance So may I work your mills Just as long as I am and never meet the man whose name is on the label. It's just me and my machine for the rest of the morning and the rest of the afternoon. Sally gone and the rest of my life. DeWolfs and Down produces luxurious down comforters, pillows, and feather beds. DeWolfs and Down uses only the highest quality hand-selected European white goose down. Covers are made of the finest linens imported from Europe, Asia, and around the world. Visit the factory outlet just six miles south of Boone on Highway 105, or visit DeWolfs and Down at their beautiful Blowing Rock location in downtown Blowing Rock. DeWolfs and Down, you'll never sleep the same again. This is the Mountain Home Music Radio Show. Imagine that you are poor, that you have bills to pay, a family to raise, and, except for work on the farm, the only job that you've ever had is working in the mill. And then the mill closes down. The next song, Aragon Mill, helps us to feel this loss. And like many of the songs performed on this show, it was written by Cy Khan from Charlotte, North Carolina. At the east end of town, at the foot of the hill, stands a chimney so tall. That says Aragon Mill But there's no smoke at all Coming out of the stack For the mill has shut down And it ain't coming back Well, I'm too old to change And I'm too young to die Tell me where will I go For my old man and I And no children at all In the quiet, lonesome streets Now the looms are all gone It's so quiet And the only sound I hear is the sound of the wind as it blows through the town. Weave and spin, weave and spin. Yes, the meal has shut down. The only life I know Tell me where will I go Tell me where will I go And the only sound I hear Is the sound of the wind As it blows through the town Weave and spin, weave and spin That was a beautiful job on that song, Hank. Thank you. 
the mill worker, like the coal miner, the lumberjack, or like you or I, when faced with harsh realities, often look for a better place and a better way. A well-known Appalachian folk hymn is about this better place and better way. The song is one that is probably familiar to you. It is, it is known by two names, or at least two names, and perhaps more. The Wayfaring Stranger, or some people call it the Wayfaring Pilgrim. We'll follow this by another hymn, and it is also a popular and well-known hymn. It's called The Church in the Wildwood. But first, The Wayfaring Stranger. Just a poor wayfarer and stranger traveling through this world of woe. There's no sickness, toil, or danger in that bright land to which I go. Isn't that beautiful? 
If you're an artist, a painter, sculptor, writer, storyteller, dancer, or musician, the Watauga County Arts Council is there for you. If you believe the arts are a vital part of our lives and our community, the Watauga County Arts Council agrees. Whether you're an artist or a supporter of the arts or both, the Watauga County Arts Council is ready to serve you. To find out more about the Watauga County Arts Council, call 704-264-1789. This is the Mountain Home Music Radio Show. So far, we've heard work stories from all of our performers except Jim Brooks. Jim tells us now about some early experiences in a small church in Ashe County and how those experiences influenced his later career decisions. I grew up in Ashe County and um, attended a small Baptist church, the oldest Baptist church, in fact, in, in Ashe County, and it was a little white church, so this song uh, kind of has special significance uh, to me for that reason. But I found that it was in that church that a, a lot of the influences that have, that have come to mean a lot in my life were first made. Um, it was there that the influence of teachers and the influence of music and um, I think it's no coincidence that I'm now a, a public school teacher and that I also direct a church choir. And it's from those early experiences in that small church that were so meaningful. And I invite you to sing along. church in the valley by the wild wood no lovelier place in the dale no spot is so dear to my childhood as the little white church in the vale oh come 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 to the church in the wild wood come to the church in the vale Sabbath morning to listen to the clear ringing bell. Its tones are so sweetly calling. Oh, come to the church in the veil. Oh, come, 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 come to the church in the wildwood. Come to the church in the veil. by the wild wood when day fades away into night I would fain from this spot of my childhood wing my way to the mansions of light Oh, come, 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 come come to the church in the wild wood come to the church in the veil no
In any job, in any age, there are those who look for ways not to work. The next song is about a fellow that said, I ain't going to work on the railroad, and I ain't going to work on the farm. I'm just going to lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arm. That's exciting, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Well, what did our ancestral workers accomplish? In a material sense, very little. But this is also true during this time period for workers outside of the Appalachian region. Times were hard in most other places, too. Part of the time period that we covered in our presentation tonight included the Great Depression. Of course, great is only true in the negative sense. But for many Appalachian workers, in addition to the harsh economic realities, they also had to face exploitation of their land and its material resources, and they had to face personal exploitation in terms of social degradation. But mountain people are often slow to complain or to blame. And as harsh as life was in those years, People then, like people now, can find personal dignities regardless of the external circumstances. It can be found within, and it can be found in the simple things. I recall as a a child visiting uh, my grandmother's house, my Granny Shannon, after my grandfather had passed away and I was concerned about her being lonely, and this was a time when I loved to play 
you know, uh, baseball and football and, and throw the basketball around and, you know, throw pine cones and kick them around and stuff. So I, I got worried about my grandmother, uh, and so I said, Granny Shannon, what do you do for fun? You know, she didn't throw the football or kick pine cones or anything. So I, I was really concerned what she did for fun. She said, they called me Joe Wayne. She said, Joe Wayne, I work in the garden. The garden's how I have fun. Now, that didn't make a lot of sense to me then, and I still have a hard time grasping that. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand it a lot better. And here to do a very uplifting song and a very beautiful song, I think Jim's going to lead us on this one. It's called uh, The Garden Song, or Inch by Inch. Okay. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, Someone bless the seeds I sow Someone warm them from below Till the rain comes tumbling down Pulling weeds and picking stones Man is made of dreams and bones Feel the need to grow my own Cause the time is close at hand Rain for grain, sun and rain Find my way in nature's chain To my body and my brain To the music of the land Inch by inch, row by row Gonna make this garden grow All it takes is a rake and a hoe And a piece of fertile ground Inch by inch, row by row Someone bless the seeds I sow Someone warm them from below Till the rain comes tumbling down Plant your rows straight and long Thicker than with prayer and song Mother Earth will make you strong If you give her love and care Old crow watching hungrily from his perch in yonder tree In my garden I'm as free As that feathered thief up there Inch by inch, row by row Gonna make this garden grow All it takes is a rake and a hoe And a piece of fertile ground Inch by inch, row by row This program is brought to you in part by the Center for Appalachian Studies at Appalachian State University, honoring the traditions of work and song in the Appalachian region. The Appalachian Studies program offers undergraduate coursework and the only Master of Arts degree program in Appalachian Studies. For more information, contact the Center for Appalachian Studies at 704-262-4089 or drop by their offices in University Hall on the Blowing Rock Road in Boone. This is the Mountain Home Music Radio Show. To add a poetic touch to our tribute to Appalachian workers is Blowing Rock's poet laureate Juanita Tobin. I ask Juanita to share a few poems that help us to know and help us to feel the world of work from a worker's perspective. Juanita knows how to get to the heart of the matter. In her first poem, she deals with the traditional role of women as subservient to their husbands and the traditional expectation of women's work, that is, work around the house. In her second poem, she expresses the feeling of someone who's had to work for a boss that they didn't like. And, like Juanita always does, she gets to the point. When I got married, this is the way things were. 
I got to stop confabulating. And confabulating, I've been challenged. People have thought that's a made up word, but it's in the dictionary. And I had to prove it to my dear publisher, Rao Aluri in Boone, who was brave enough to publish my book. I got to stop confabulating. It means talking too much. I got to wash the clothes and scrub the floors and clean the windows and wash the dishes and lay the fire. I got to stop confabulating. I'll borrow a lighter knot from old man Carlton, only it don't seem fitting to go over there when his wife is not home. I better not borrow that knot because my man don't want me around no other man unless he's driving a car and I'm in the back seat. I gotta wash the clothes and scrub the floors and clean the windows and wash the dishes and lay the fire. I gotta stop confabulating. I'll get that fire going, stop in at Ms. Dupree's and try on a hat, and then I'll go, go buy me a lilac bush. I'll try on a new hat and buy a lilac bush, the finest thing at all, fine as frog's hair. Frogs will sing under my lilac bush when I wash the clothes and scrub the floor and clean the windows and wash the dishes and lay the fire and stop confabulating. <laughs> my last poem is double S-O-B is boss spelled backwards. <laughs> I told you things haven't changed. <laughs> he don't care what's been recommended. He's got the final say. The boss is like a child driving a car. He don't mind that it ain't moving as long as he's steering. <laughs> I wish I knew the inside track, the ins and outs, instead of mostly grapevine. He enjoys power knows how to wield it, can castrate you and never let you feel it. If it was a pain in the neck, I could endure it, but it's hard when it's where you sit down. <laughs> if you sit down as much as I do. But when I don't want to follow the boss, any excuse will do. I've got to go home and wash my elephant. Greenhouse Crafts in Glendale Springs has handmade quilts, Celtic crosses, and baskets. Greenhouse Crafts has a wide selection of traditional Appalachian music. Greenhouse Crafts has toys for children, art for your walls, decorations for your home. A shopper's paradise. Greenhouse Crafts, located behind the Church of the Frescoes in Glendale Springs, right off the Blue Ridge Parkway in beautiful Ashe County, North Carolina. Greenhouse Crafts. This is the Mountain Home Music Radio Show. Some of the struggles and conflicts we've spoken of during this concert continue up to today. The recent UPS strike reminds us all of the tension between labor and management. But it doesn't have to be this way. Recall last year when a fire burned down a factory and the owner of the business continued to pay his workers just because he felt like it was the right thing to do. And you all know of small businesses in your communities where people want to work, where they are treated fairly, and where they are treated with respect. But tonight's concert was to honor the workers, workers who have suffered in their work and workers who were empowered by their work, workers who have worked in the light of the public's eye, and workers who have worked quietly with little to no public recognition. Our concert concludes with my own brief salute to these workers, and the audience joins us for our two final songs, two songs of celebration. This land is your land and my homes across the Blue Ridge Mountains. I have great respect for workers who stand up for their rights, 
for workers who shoulder their responsibilities and for workers who persevere through hard times and maintain their dignity in the process. Tonight's concert was for those people. They deserve to be honored. This is what we've tried to do, and I want to thank you for your help. I also want to thank Hank and Kathy and Jim and Steve and Scott and Juanita and Glenn and Sarah and Renee. I know that you all have worked hard to put this show on tonight. Thank you very, very much. We'll conclude our concert with a well-known song, uh, a song that's a song of celebration of all of our country about our land and the people who work the land. The song is, This Land is Your Land. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. As I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw a
Executive producer of Mountain Home Music is Joe Shannon. Technical director and audio engineer is Glenn Hubbard. For more information on Mountain Home Music, write P.O. Box 572, Boone, North Carolina 28607, or call 704-264-8118.